right, the pan is heating up. I got these crepe accessories for birthday. This is uh, for going underneath the crepe to check out the edges. And this is the spreader. And I got the crepe batter here. Uh, if you want to know um, how to make it, it's, it's crepes for one. I use gluten-free flour. It, it's not hard to make any replacements. Um, and I like to put a little bit of margarine in it. Um, unless you melt it in the microwave, it's going to be a little lumpy. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm going to make, I'm going to make myself some crepes today. There's going to be two of them. Uh, the crepes for one recipe, uh, can give you one big crepe, which I usually like to do, or two crepes. But I'm going to do crepes like the right way today. And make them really thin. Alright, so I think the pan's ready. I think the, uh, the butter spray is all melted for the most part. Right, moment of truth. I just realized usually, usually people would say the moment of truth when um when they're about to taste something. This is so weird. I I I'm now discovering that I should have done this on low heat because I'm getting a lot of resistance here didn't turn out too well. I guess that's what you get during a moment of truth. Sometimes the truth can go one way, sometimes the truth can go the other. Damn. Oh, you know what? I want to keep that sound. The next grape. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A bit splattery. Well, that's uh, that's I guess the moral of this video is uh, when you're about to use this grape tool, um, remember you have to use low heat so it doesn't cook right before you use it. I really should have known that. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, this is going to be really good. Um, and I'm not going to attempt to use the crepe tool in the second one because um, it's just going to cook automatically because the heat is already going to be on. can be really good because I incorporated the margarine and butter from it. I mean the margarine and the syrup in it from the beginning of the batter. It's gonna be yummy. Uh, I'm not using this today. I kinda like this spatula. Alright. I think it's done. I'll show you the plate that I'm using afterward. I mean, it's it's not a it's not a special plate, but I guess I was looking forward to showing off the garnish. And all of it's going to the corner. All right, next time I'm definitely using a smaller frying pan. Big pool of uh, big pool of spray right there. That's gonna be a particularly greasy 
part of the grape. That's the thing about cooking is that taste and appearance are often pretty separate. Well, I think, I think chefs would, I think professional chefs would disagree with that, but with amateur chefs, I think that um, we don't have a, as refined palates, I think. Um, I think that a mess of a dish can still be really tasty, as long as I got that that batter that I usually use. Um, it's gonna taste good. It's just not gonna look like that uniform circular crepe. Have a, you see this burn I got from the last video? I uh, went into this hoping I won't get another burn. If I do, I'll take a good stride, but uh, no burns for me today. Thank you. Turn off my heat. Move this burner so I don't get another burn. Or so I'm not likely to get another burn. And then, let me show you my burnish. Some mint that my mom picked in the backyard today. And uh, those are crepes for one. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.